everybody, JC here with another TNI Tour Review. And today's review is in association with MarvelousNews.com, your number one news source for everything Marvel. And for today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Marvel Legends X-Men Series 6-inch cable figure from Hasbro. Now this figure comes packaged in the same style packaging we see with all the Marvel Legends. You've got the black box for the X-Men Series. You've got the yellow highlights. You've got the Legends Series logo up the top. The figure clearly displayed. And then the X-Men name and the character name down below. Off to the side, you have some artwork for the character. And then on the back of the packaging, we have a look at the figure, a brief bio in multiple languages. And then down below a look at all the figures that you need to get in the series in order to complete the Juggernaut Build-A-Figure. Okay, so let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside of the packaging along with the other content. So first thing you get is the waist section for the Juggernaut Build-A-Figure, and this is actually two pieces. The belt is a separate piece, and then you just have the little waist section of the figure. Now we'll be looking at the Juggernaut probably once I've looked at all the other X-Men figures, though I might jump it ahead, I'm not sure, but we will definitely be doing a Juggernaut review for its own video, so be sure to check back for that. And then we get two different weapons with this figure, two blasters that look kind of futuristic. One's a larger rifle and the other is a smaller one. And these are both done with an almost metallic looking green paint. And you do have some of that marbleization effect going on with the paint on these. And overall I like the sculpting detail, look very futuristic, very cable-like. Now the rifle has this extra little thing of bullets that you can uh, pop in on the bottom here for a little extra effect. So that's a nice little added addition for the rifle. And you can get the weapons in either hand. He holds them pretty tight. The plastic on the rifles are a little flexible, so you can squeeze them in there. And like I said, he should be able to hold them uh, pretty tight. So for the figure itself, I think Hasbro's done a pretty nice job with the sculpting detail on this figure and the paint applications are pretty good as well. Now I'm not a huge fan of this costume, in fact I was thinking about it and I haven't seen Cable, I don't recall seeing Cable in the comics for some time. I don't even know what's going on with him, if he's dead or supposedly dead or supposed to be alive, if, is he in the future the past? I mean, like I said, I really it's been some time since I've seen Cable in the comics. So let me know in the comments if you've been uh, following up with Cable you know what, what's his current status but anyway I don't really recognize the specific costume but I just kind of prefer the older more X-Men like costumes kind of like the old Toy Biz one this is actually my favorite uh, look for Cable with the yellow and blue and he's got the X-Men symbols and everything on it so that's kind of the costume I prefer for Cable but again this might be pretty accurate for something he's worn more recently I just I just don't know I like the sculpting detail in the face with the metal parts and the metallic silver paint gives it that really really kind of uh, techno-organic, I guess is the proper term for cable for these metal parts. And he's got the red eye, which looks good. And then I like the sculpting on the on the flesh side of the face. He, I think these scars actually look like they're sculpted on there, not just painted. So I like that detailing. The hair looks pretty good. Not No real wash work in the hair. It's just a, a grayish color, but I think it looks pretty good. And I like the sculpting of the hair. I think that comes off looking good. So overall, I do like this face sculpt in both both sides. The ears, are, you can see the flush on the ears, so that's good. And then the hair, I like how the, the metal meets the hair and the ears. And then you even have sculpting down um, the neck for the metal parts. I don't know how well you can see it, but they've actually sculpted all the way down to the bottom of the neck for the metal parts. And this, this vest piece is actually a sculpted piece. Originally, I thought this was going to be a separate piece, but it's not. It's actually sculpted. So all this metal parts that you see with the neck and everything is kind of sculpted inside there. And then this is all all just one solid piece so I think that comes off looking really good and I like the sculpting texture that they've done on the vest almost looks like a chain mail or something so I think that looks good the vest is just kind of a, a brown beige color again very basic paint applications but I do like the you know the metal parts do look like metal have that kind of shiny metal look to it got this little circular disc I don't know if these are supposed to be bullet holes or something on the back here but just really nice detailing I think I almost missed it but on the metal side with the red red eye. You also have a little tint of yellow in there, I guess for his telekinesis, so that's a nice little added touch as well. The left arm is the metal arm, and I believe this is, is a new sculpt. I don't think this is from another figure. I haven't, at first I thought maybe it was from Winter Soldier, but it's not. It's bigger, so it's not 
the same metal arm that we see on the uh, Winter Soldier figure. And I don't recall any other figures having metal arms, recent ones anyway. Um, I, I think this is new. And then the hands, I believe, are new as well. And I like how on the on this hand, the, the hand is the fingers are actually metal as well. And then he's got the same glove on the on the right hand as the left, but you've got the metal fingers. So I think that looks good. Now this arm is a reuse from the Nuke figure. And in fact, this figure does uh, borrow uh, several parts from the Nuke figure. So this arm is definitely from Nuke, and you've got the little tattoo that's painted on there, which I think looks pretty good. I assume that's something that we see in the comic this books. Lo lower torso section, I don't know if that's new or from another figure. It's not from Nuke, so it may be new. Now this belt piece is the same one that we see on the Nuke figure. So basically from the waist down, we see a lot of the Nuke pieces. The legs are from Nuke, and this, like I said, this belt piece is from Nuke. Now they did attach add these little uh, shin guards that are just a kind of a soft plastic that they've glued onto the front of the bottom portion of the leg so those are different so just to be more specific I should say that the cable and the nuke figures both share the same upper legs and then they share the same feet but this lower leg portion of the figure is different between the two cable doesn't have a boot cuff swivel and this whole uh, lower leg portion is is different but the feet themselves are are the same so this figure stands just over seven inches tall, not quite seven and a quarter inches. Now here he is next to the old Toy Biz cable figure, and this is the only other cable figure I own. I don't have any of the other previous Hasbro cable figures, so I, this is the only one I can give you a comparison of. But you can see he's much. This new one is much taller than the old Toy Biz. Here's a comparison with the Toy Biz Mr. Sinister and the Toy Biz Apocalypse figure. And then finally, the comparison I know many of you've been asking for the new Hasbro Strife figure with cable, and these two are pretty close in height, so I think the scale works between the Just two. Just in case, if you were wondering, you can switch out the heads between these two if you want to give your um, cable an unmasked, or your Strife, I should say, an unmasked look to it. So you can stick this cable head on it, and it fits on there pretty well. Maybe a little loose, but for the most part, it does snap on there. So articulation on the figure is not too bad. The head you can turn left and you can turn right, and he's got good down movement, though he ends up looking into his vest when you have him look down like that which looks a little funny and he can look up pretty good as well arms are tapped with your standard ball hinge joint at the shoulder so he can get his arm out good and he's got good rotation he's got a bicep swivel he's got the double hinged elbow he's got swivels at the wrist and he's got hinges on the hand so he's got down movement not so much in the way of up movement with the way these little uh, metal plates are sculpted on the hands then for the midsection he has an ab crunch type joint and he's got rotation there he can't can't really crunch down though because of the way the vest is sculpted and he can look back a little bit and then he also has a waist swivel legs are attached with ball joints so he can do the splits about that much he can get his leg up good and he can do his leg back about that much. He's got a thigh swivel. He's got the double jointed knee, so good bending at the knee. And then he's got hinges on the feet, so good down movement. Okay up movement, though these little shin guards keep his foot from going up too much. And then he does have ankle pivot. And these shin guards limit it maybe a little, but because they're that kind of soft plastic, they don't really limit the pivot too much. So you still got pretty good ankle pivot there. And then two peg holes on the bottom of the feet. Okay, so that's my review. Overall, even though this isn't my favorite look, Look for cable. I definitely think this is a nice looking figure. I think the size of it's good, articulation's good, I like the weapons with it. So if you're a fan of the character, I think this is one you'll definitely want to add to your collection. So the wave with this figure is starting to see a limited release. Certain e-tailers have gotten limited stock in, but the majority of the stock is due in in August, so you should really start seeing this wave hit shelves in August. We'll have a full gallery of images up at MarvelousNews.com. There'll be a link in the video description below. As always, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video. Also, if you haven't already, please follow me on my Facebook and or Twitter pages. I'll also have links to those in the video description below. And until next time, I'll catch you later.